So now that we've looked at how to insert and create shapes, let's look at how to edit those shapes. I'm going to start with a basic square, and with that square selected, I'm going to press return on my keyboard to go into editing mode. You can also double click on the shape, but edit mode prevents you from accidentally double clicking on the wrong thing or accidentally creating a point on the path. I do recommend using the return key. And the other good thing about return is you can press it again to leave edit mode when you're done. So return to go in and return to go out of edit mode. So I'm going to hit return to go back into editing mode and you'll see that my square is made up of four points and those four points are where the lines meet one another and change angle and those points are currently changing angle at a completely straight sharp corner. Uh, if you look over on the right hand side on the inspector you can see that that's because straight is selected for the point that I currently have selected and I currently have the top right corner of my box selected so being that it's on straight I get a sharp corner but if I click on mirrored I now get a round corner and with that round corner you get these little handles here to work with what's called a bezier curve and with that you get to stretch these outward to increase the curve to make these little handles more influential on the line and fatten up the uh, radius of that corner or I can scoot them in and I can make it a sharper corner also changing the angle of course changes the angle of that curve at the point that it meets the uh, the actual point on the path so play with this and you'll find that this is a really easy way to make curves uh, but when you want to get more advanced we then have disconnected and asymmetric so I'm going to start with disconnected and what disconnected allows you to do is have one end of the curve go one way and have the other end of the curve go another way because you might want to have a sharp corner that bends above the sharp corner or below the sharp corner uh, you may not necessarily want it to bend outward uh, equally both ways which is what you end up with mirrored uh, so disconnected can be very very useful for creating hard corners that have curves coming out of them uh, and then we have asymmetric and asymmetric is more similar to mirrored when you work with asymmetric you'll see that it's a lot like mirrored the difference being that I can drag one end out to increase the influence without affecting the other end. So when it comes to the in and the out, uh, they are not attached. When it comes to the angle, they are still attached. So it's close to mirrored, but not quite the same because the angle is the same like mirrored, but the influence is separate like disconnected. So disconnected is really the most freeform, mirrored is really the most foolproof, and then asymmetric is kind of a happy medium. And straight is, of course, just straight. Now the other cool thing is if you've got a corner or several corners, I'm going to hold the shift key and select these three corners. You can round those three corners by using the corners slider that's underneath your different uh, curve modes. Now the corners slider is just going to leave the points where they are. You can see that the points actually stay out there, uh, but it is curving the line, so you don't have to have hard corners. Uh, the other cool thing is you'll notice that it's stopping me at 100. If you hover your cursor over that little box with the number 100 in it, there are arrows, and I can click up or down to increase or decrease, and you're not limited to what the slider limited you to. And if you want this to go up faster, you can hold the shift key. So you can see I'm all the way up to 250 now, uh, and that's 250 pixels of radius. So the bigger your object is, the more you're going to have to crank up the corner radius to make a really round corner. If your object's very small, then maybe 10 or 20 pixels uh, could make the corner completely round like this, and then we end up with sort of that droplet shape, that diagonal droplet shape. Uh, so if you guys are happy with editing your shapes this way, then you'll probably be able to create a lot of cool stuff uh, without having to freeform anything with a pen tool. Uh, but if you want to freeform with a pen tool, I've got a tutorial on that coming up very shortly. And uh, you'll probably want to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I've got a lot more cool stuff coming soon. Again, return to get out of edit mode, and we are back to normal. So please subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.